The only way to get so close to such animals is to actually become one of them, to become one of their family. All right, my name is Dean Schneider. I'm 29 years old. I'm originally from Switzerland, but six years ago, I moved to South Africa to follow my passion and live my dream. And today I live in the wilderness of South Africa. I'm part of a lion pride, and I got the opportunity to inspire millions of people around the world about the beauty of the animal kingdom. And my mission is to bring animals into people's hearts. So the Hakuna Park Oasis is located on a 400 hectare property somewhere in the wilderness of South Africa. This has happened, I think, five and a half years ago. I moved to South Africa, I purchased that property and I created the Hakuna Park Oasis. And the purpose of the actual sanctuary is to provide a lifelong beautiful and wild home to some of the rescued animals which are here um, on the Hakuna Park Oasis, but also to be a beautiful home for all all the other wild animals living on the property. Animals which are in my care, I'm not talking about the wild living animals here on the Hakuna Park Oasis, but those one I have to care for on a day-to-day -day basis. They come out of different captive environments. That means they have been born in captivity, whether a zoo, a circus, sanctuary or a breeding facility, and they found their way to the Hakuna Park Oasis where they're having now a beautiful and lifelong home. Most of them cannot be reintroduced into the wild because it wouldn't even be possible. Let's take, for example, the lions. The lions, they lost their natural fear of humans because they've been born in captivity, knowing what a human is. So even though I strongly believe and I can prove that they have the skills and abilities to live in the wild, to hunt, to feed themselves, they would be a threat to other humans in closer villages. They would enter the villages because they would associate human activity with maybe food or something, you know, for, the, for them, and that would be a disaster. So the humans would end up killing them. So governments would never allow to reintroduce such lions back into the wild. And uh, yeah, that's very unfortunate, but if we have an animal here, or if it was to happen that an animal comes to the Akunami Park Oasis, which can be reintroduced into the wild, we'll definitely do that, because the wild is the only true home for them. The only way to get so close to such animals is to actually become one of them, to become one of their family. And the only way to do that is to spend time, to spend time and create an understanding on a day-to-day -day basis. That's what I've been doing for the past five years. And that's what created my understanding and my bond to those animals. I hope this gave you a little insight into my life, into my day-to-day -day life here in South Africa with the animals. Maybe you could learn something about animals together with me now. And I wish you a beautiful rest of your day or night or morning, whatever it is where you're watching from. Take care.